Hello and welcome back to Factory Town Idol. We've made quite some progress in this game over these last uh, dozen and a half or so episodes, and we have a bit more to go as we found out the last time when we looked at the uh, locked researches. We still have quite a few more technologies to uncover, and so we're going to work toward uncovering those today. Uh, first of all, we, we unlocked the mana battery and refinery off camera in, in all the towns, I believe, so we can go ahead and take those. The uh, mana battery is just a storage building, but that's okay. We can always use a little bit of storage. I don't like to do a lot, though. And then we also have the uh, refinery, which per Produces these new cube thingies, uh, which also brings us along a new recipe for mana ether, which is the the clear cube, the mana cube. A new research for magical knowledge tome three, ether storage, and uh, ether bonus for mana power. So let's do that, and let's just fire all these up. I guess couldn't hurt, right? Max everybody out. How long is that going to take? Oh, we got to have these things going first. That's how long it's going to take. All right, let's go down here and. Uh, why did those not start automatically? We have 10 workers. They're on auto. I never set a production limit on these? Oopsie. Wait a minute. These all got reset. When did that happen? It must have been an update or something? Hmm. Interesting. That's not uh, ideal. I wonder if they're resetting all the towns. Oh, this is... No, this is markets. That should be set also. No, we didn't want those set to... We didn't want those in no limit. And that just went haywire. Perfect. Okay, it'll straighten itself out. Don't worry. Uh, we're a little short on magic shirts, I see, though. We should... Uh, I was looking at the wrong thing here. That's why they weren't producing. I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the markets instead of the production. Sort of crafting. And then we'll go take a look at what's going on there. Right, we need refineries before we can do this. So let's go ahead and uh, flip through the towns, uh, accepting these two, turning these on, and then setting up the uh, refineries, at least five each. Oh, also I should probably do the 110 unlimited limit thing. Because it took a few minutes to craft since I don't have any construction speed because it just feels like something we don't need to me. So that's why I haven't done it. Uh, yes, it takes a little bit longer to build things, but the only you don't build that much. You don't build hardly any at all compared to anything else. So um, crafting is where it's at, in my opinion. And harvesting, of course. All right. Do these real quick. I thought about adding a little bit more to the uh, idle timer. I may yet do it. Um... Because we've kind of come up against now where we have, um, we only have 1680 minutes, which seems like a long time until you get, did I do it yet? Until you get one of the, uh, one of the researches that because of the supply of some item or other, in this case coins, it's going to take a million years to make, to do that research. So, um, we'll see what this one ends up looking like once they get going, but it's, um, one of those things where I, you know, I would I would like to speed it up, but also, eh. And the last one. Someone also mentioned about the auto assignment here for researches, and I could do it individually to the um, to the individual researches, or I could do it globally. But I like to control what I'm researching or not, uh, depending on uh, what I want to work on next. So that's why I haven't turned that on for the research. I kind of just like to have that. All right, so we are making these now. We have a couple of refineries going here. That still probably isn't going to be enough. And all we're doing right now is just the research. And purple coins isn't going to be enough either. Uh, just the research and the selling of the things here. Um, although the selling is already maxed out, which is good. Uh, although we do need to do an upgrade level. That's a capacity. We don't need that yet. We need to get an upgrade level uh, soon so we can sell more than 350. Everybody else is at 400 here, uh, except for magic shirts and pants and shirts okay let's go take a look at those that's right i remember remember talking about those that's going to be at this place yeah we need a few more tailors let's do it actually these are all a little bit slacky so are the no these are fine it's a cloth issue right we need more a lot more cloth being made because remember this town is providing the cloth for the entire world country something
So it's really a cotton cloth issue. So we'll get those focused down very soon here. And that's why the other towns probably aren't having as much of a trouble. Oh yeah, there it goes. Now it's fixed. Just like that. Just like that. Well, mostly. Mostly. Yep, they're sitting there, so it's fixed now. Why are you stopping at 100% though? You should be auto at 110. Interesting. Either way, it's working. We're good. Uh, let's go back to the market to make sure there aren't any other yellows. And there aren't. And we're getting more refineries made, which is good. Uh, researches are going strong here. Uh, the magic knowledge shown, I figure, was going to take a while to make. And these other two are going to be done in no time. Uh, let's just quickly scroll through all these towns just to make sure that we don't have anything that's missing, marketing-wise. Uh, I'm on the wrong menu again. Although that would have been telling as well. Either way. Do we not have those other spell books? We should have them here. I don't have enough enchanters. No. Weird. Why did those not start up? It's not a draw for them. Oh, because there's not any... Yeah, we need more bookstores. You've got ten. This only had five. Ten, ten. Let's add five to this one, too. That one. There we go. Yep, some of these towns didn't have enough places to sell, so they weren't making them. That'll do it. And now the problem is production, which I was half expecting to see. So we can fix that, too. If I can find where those were. Were they, were they down here? They are. Is this, is this going to be a... Probably just a you need to level up a bit issue. So we have 15. Yeah, these just need to get leveled up and then there'll be enough to produce the rest of them. Not that we couldn't add five more, because we could. All right, those first researchers are getting done now. There they go, They're, those are going green now. These ones are still struggling a little bit. But they're going green. These are overdrawn. Why are they so different? You know, let's just add five enchanters everywhere. I'm sure we can use them eventually. Oops. Okay. So let's do ether storage and ether bonus mana power. And then we can do another one of those. Uh, that's going to cost a lot of purple coins in a short amount of time. Let's go to the storage, though, and we can add in mana battery, which stores the uh, actual energies, the powers, and then the crystallarium, which stores the, those crystals, and then the ether storage, which stores these uh, cube thingies. And if we have enough purple coins, that'll be done in six, in six minutes, right? Six minutes is what it said? Yeah, six and a half minutes. Uh, otherwise, we will have to wait. Looks like we have quite a bit of coin. I almost did the shift thing. So why have these not crafted yet? Oh, because I didn't click the button. That was dumb. Okay. Yep. Dumb. Let's just do a fast forward here. There we go. I really do like that fast forward ability. I, I liked the way they had it implemented a long time ago, but I like this way better, I think. We should do uh, production capacity upgrades in all of these as well. Let's go back to here. Nope, here. And do the production capacity, because we might as well. We'll get double the workers. 
Double the fun. At least right now that's enough refineries, although this town's struggling. What are you struggling with? Destruction. There we are. Purple coins. Really? There's many purple coins as we're bringing in here. Um, it's really struggling. Did I? I did not. I missed a couple of towns. There we are. Okay, so we need... Uh, let's just fast forward here a bit. Let's pour purple coins. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, then we'll do this. And I really don't know how to get more purple coins in here either in terms of... Yeah, we could. We can't really sell more unless we boost the um, unless we boost the rate on on this, and we're all pretty much stuck at the plus three fifty or the three hundred fifty percent. All right, we can't sell more than that until we get the next upgrade here, which isn't market capacity, but um, market uh, consumption boost, which we don't have available for this store yet. Did I screw this one up too? I never made them here. Oops. Wow, Wally. You're doing quality work here. I might want to, though, get all these up to five refineries because then I think that's where we get... Or ten refineries because then we get this. So let's go ahead and add five to each town. Because then we'll get double the production capacity for those. And these, by the way, are making, they're combining mana power and steam to make mana ether. Just kind of an interesting combination. Uh, was it you? Okay, this one. And then you can start that. So, uh, mana power two. So what this is doing, by the way, is, is boosting the mana power production amounts by 50%. Can't complain about that. And you're still a magical Nautilus Tome too, so we can still keep going with this. I apparently didn't start that one either. And this one's gonna be a struggle. Wait for this one to finish. Kind of keep them all together. There we go. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man. Purple coins. Okay. I guess I won't keep them all together. We'll let snow fall behind, I think. Then, um, eventually, though, we should get, be able to get the refineries in most towns. Um, actually, they're all going to fall behind. Because this research is killing it all. I wonder how many of these there actually are. Uh, ether. Bonus. That's it. Okay, this is mana power. I wonder if it'll, it might even show the next levels here. Um... Yeah, it doesn't even show. Because there's air power, earth power, fire power, water power. But it doesn't show the next level of this one because it's a... Um, because it's already... The, the kind of repetitive levels don't show in the locked stuff. But I don't know how many levels there are. And I think I'm going to not do that one just yet. I'm going to let these magical knowledge tomes finish. Um, and then we'll do that. So we'll, get, we'll have three levels done of that and then we can move to this other... Thank you. 
This one I already finished, actually. Ooh, boy, look at all that stuff that unlocked here. This one did too. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a bit. We'll let the purple coins accumulate, I suppose. Yeah, this one's going to fall behind. That's fine. And even this is falling behind on the uh, level of purple coins we've got going there. These are going to start getting real expensive anyways. Okay, clean this one up. Clean this one up. Um, I'm just going to let that fall behind too. We can work on these uh, these first few. So that unlocks a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, Magical Knowledge Tome 3 did. And we can make sure that those are getting made here in the Mage Tower. And they are. And they should be getting sold automatically in the bookstores. And they are. Uh, they're going to slowly build up, of course. Um, until then, though, we should have enough here um, to use. So these are using Mana Ether and Mana Pipes on top of the Magic Planks and Magic Stone Bricks that are being used there. And remember, this is uh, two, well, 25 of those, but then two to one here. So it takes two of these to make one of those. takes two of these to make one of those. So one, two, four kind of makes sense in terms of the uh, amount of workers there. Although this one is much lower level, so it would it would balance out better later. Um, but either way, that's fine. It's interesting this one is one two two though. Although it's going to be a little bit off because we are selling them as well as just making them for the next subsequent level. So that makes some sense, I guess. I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. Uh, so let's um let's take a look at these new researches because they didn't really give us anything but this. We have these different shrines, and the different shrines will provide storage for different types of things. In this case, fire. Uh, also, it gives us uh, researches, um, or required for the next researches, too, which is Fire Temple. Um, and then we have the Water Shrine, which is storage for water. The Earth Shrine, which is storage for electricity. And the Air Shrine, which is... Oh, they're also production for uh, steam, electricity, water, and fire as well. And then we also have these uh, elemental ethers, which will um, which combine, I don't know what, uh, with the they're, they're usually going to use the power and the the mana ethers to make those. The mana temple boosts quantity of items generated for mana crystal. Then we have mana powered drills, mana powered saw blade trucks, mana powered crop house harvesters, and mana powered tractors. And then the ether bonus down there of that. Which ones do we want to do first? Probably the shrines. There's only 400 million purple coins. And we're at 166 million already. And accumulating periodically. Uh, let's Since we're going to do four things, I guess I will do three workers each. Um, yeah, it's already going to tax our coin load there. Um... And then eventually we can work on some other things. That'll be fine, though. Maybe I should add some more schools. I could add some more schools. Then I could do a fifth. I could put them up to five workers, then. Uh, you need to make these tomes. Why are you not making tomes? We don't have any work. Oh, we need, we need ten mage towers. Let's make sure we have those, then, too. Okay, I did in in the first few towns, but not in the latter ones. Uh, and then we need to have um, schools here. I could probably do that here. Here. I mean, you have... Oh, that's back to the beginning. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. And then, now you're doing the researches. Let's go back to here. Like that. Much better. Not really, because it saves a few minutes, but once we run out of purple coins, we're stuck either way. And then these, these are especially stuck. Uh, that one we're leaving alone. This one we're going to try to get finished. But they're going to take forever. And then this one should be done shortly. And that is sad. All right. Let's go fast forward mode again. So we run out of purple coins, and then it drops off drastically. 
Some of those are finishing in the other towns, though. Yeah, I don't really understand why the purple coin income is different. I would think it should be similar, given that we have the same number of people. Uh, 1140 people in all the towns. So I would think that it would be the same number of workers available in all the towns. There's a few other things that affect that, though, like in terms of their consumption, but I thought we were pretty standardized, or at least that this town would be the most, and it's not. So I'm a little, I'm a little confused by that, I suppose, but what else is new? Uh, let's go here real quick, because I saw that the rivers has leveled up, as has the woods. These are both now level 30. Uh, we're still working toward level 35 pretty much everywhere. Uh, level 40 and 50 generally, and then level 30 in the Magic Town. Once we get there, will give us a little bit of a daily reward boost and some quest coins. Um, here? Yeah. Okay, so let's go take a look at these shrines. We're going to complete them here, and then we'll go take a look at them. Those are under crafting, I believe. Just saw them, I think. Yep, here they are. So these will produce fire from firepower. Water from water power, steam from air power, and power from earth power. If that sounds redundant, I'm sorry. Let's just make like five of each of these. It's kind of a trade-off, and I'm not sure that I like either any of these that much over their uh, standard, their non-magical uh, counterparts. But I think it's worth still um, exploring them and thinking about which thing is going to be cheaper. So, for example, if we if we um, take one magic or one firepower to make ten fire, uh, that will cost us one fire crystal, which costs us a three point six fire plus four rubies to make ten fire. So compare that to where the heck there where the heck are the other fires at? Here, where it costs us coal or wood to make fire, which one is better? I don't know. Um, I guess we could, well, as long as we don't run out of these things, the gems, then it's better to, I think it's probably better to do these, because then you go to water. Well, how do we get water? We can pump it with power, um, or we can just make water power with power. Uh, one and a half power makes one water power, that makes ten water, uh, this is... 0.73 makes two water, so that's already more efficient there in terms of the power. It just comes down to the gems and how many of the gemstones we have. And then steam is kind of the same thing. It takes such a such a small amount to make a bunch of steam, or make a little bit of steam, but this is one of those to make a, a little bit of steam. So which is cheaper? Maybe we focus these first then. So if we want to do that, we can make these highest priority. Uh, the problem is going to be with this that uh, they may not toggle on their own. Well, it looks like Steam did. Um, but we also have to worry about things like, well, the water pump here already is two arrows. So how do I prioritize that? Um, and then also the power, I think. Yeah. The power has um, Steam and then water wheels. Oh, that's actually okay. But the water itself is here. And it's um, here, which the aqueducts are pulling from the spring, and these are not; those are not pulling from the spring. Uh, and then there's the old-fashioned harvesting of water done um, up here. So maybe I deprioritize this one. I equalize this one, which is normal priority. And then I set this one of to one tick that way these get used more i'm gonna have to encourage these to start though so we do this and then i do that and they will start up automatically here uh and now as long as we don't overproduce and you can see the fire started working right away um we're producing a little bit less from coal because we're producing more from firepower. As long as these don't overdraw and we don't compensate for it, uh, then we're, I think this is okay. And so I may do that in all the other towns. Um, in the meantime though, we should start something new here. The uh, purple coins are not 
doing greatly. And these are 4 billion, 6 billion there, 400 million again here, and I have 112 million. So we're going to need like 1.6 billion um, in the next few minutes, and we have a couple hundred million. Oh, you finally finished, huh? Okay. Turn that in then. And you're still going. Uh, you finally finished. And these are all ready to go too, which I think I might do off camera. So let's go ahead and start now. I should turn them in anyway, because then I can start more things. Let's go ahead and start, just do five on each of these. They take six, but we'll just do five at each of them. That's still gonna draw a lot of our coins. It's still 34 minutes away. So maybe I do the other ones here. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do the other ones off camera though, and I'll be back after I take care of the other researches and, it, it, and start the new ones up. Be right back. And welcome back. I should have used another feature that I completely forgot about when we were talking about where all these things are made. For example, water. Uh, if we click on the water, it will tell us where, every, every, where that thing is made and where that thing is used. And that'll help me jump to not necessarily where it's being sold and traded, because we're not trading it, but where it's being sold, but where it's being made. In, in this case, uh, the water shrine, which is where we upped it to two arrows. The water pump, which I upped it to one arrow. And then also up here, it's being made at the aqueduct and the harvester's hut. So that way you can kind of scroll down here and see exactly where it's all being made instead of having to jump around so much. And that's uh, me forgetting about that feature. And that came in extra useful here. Oop, we can mark this up a little bit level. And uh, skip, they skip past the other two towns here. Interesting. Uh, we can skip over here to the desert and do the same thing here for power. Uh, and this actually, like I said, came in super useful here when we were looking at the power uh, production in the... Um, in the Earth Shrine, because power in the desert is also being produced by additional building, that is the solar panel. So I left the solar panel at two up arrows because we need it to be the primary. It is free power, so we should do that one first. And then here we have um, the power being produced by the Earth uh, power, the power being produced by steam, the power being produced by water wheels, and then we can scroll through and see that there's no other power production elsewhere here. But I do want to uh, double check these for one thing, to make sure these are all actually running, and including this one, which um, isn't actually going to run because it's not being used because we're, using, we're producing so much power in the uh, solar panels. So uh, hopefully if we need it, we'll make it, but at this point we don't need it in this biome, so why why make it right 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 so let's do uh go back here to this uh the the snow biome is still back here in magical knowledge tome and ether ether bonus and uh the the magic town is still working on these but they're so far behind that i didn't want to spend the time on it because the first handful of towns got completed with i want to check here i didn't start these um the first couple of towns got started with these additional five or four four things uh, the drills and the harvesters and things. And I wanted to make sure that we got those started, but I screwed up because I got distracted by things. So let's go ahead and turn those in here. Mana power drills, uh, mana powered saw blade trucks, mana powered crop harvesters, and mana powered tractors. And I'm not sure what those are actually giving us. Uh, I guess it's giving us some sort of a boost to those, but it didn't tell us what it was, what effect, what the effect was here, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it didn't. Does it tell me, like if I go back over here into the research, does it tell me here? Increases harvester drill production, truck production, uh, crop harvester production, and tractor production. So it gives us an extra little bit of a boost there for basically free. Now the rest of these are gonna be ridiculously expensive, especially that one there. So I think we should just go with these, uh, which are the air ethers, and they're gonna drain us dry with coins, especially. Four billion coins a piece, times four is 16 billion coins we need to uh, plunk through. So maybe we don't quite do that yet, actually. I could pause it, I guess. And said, let's look at the upgrades before we, um, you know, before we proceed with anything else. Because is there something we might want to spend the um, purple coins on before we do a bunch more research? Don't really need the market capacity, but we could use refinery production capacity here. I can also use tailor production capacity because why not? 
Uh, we added more tailors. We could, we could also boost these if we wanted, but I would really like to have... Well, we could do it. We should do these. Yeah, let's do these. We'll go up uh, to level 9 and 10, or do level 9 and 10 if we can on all of them. And looks like that's either it or all we can get for now. Fuel efficiency, I would like to get that, but we need a few more coins. Same with these XP multipliers, we need a few more coins. I'm surprised yellow is so far behind. I guess it's because I'm spending yellow coins on a lot of other things. Market capacity, storage capacity, and the trading post, and then market capacity again. I could do these, but I'm kind of like, meh. So let's not do those. Uh, and let's go back here, and we can start these back up again. And then they're gonna they're gonna die. Yep, there they go. Okay, and then here we can do the same thing. We can turn these four things on, and then that gives us another level of these, which I don't want to do yet because they're also very expensive. Um, but it's okay too, I suppose. But those must be like an infinite or a, a long term thing. Oh, except that I wanted to do the research first, uh, the upgrades first. I mean. Skipping those, uh, skill gain speed could be nice. 130 billion, though, that'll be a little bit before we can get there. Market, 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 market. Refinery production. Uh, we could do these, of course. And then yellow cash registers, sure. And the rest of these, nah. Nah. Okay, and then research, unpause that. Then we can go to the next town. Should just do all. Uh, and then upgrades. Market, 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 market. Mine production, 670 billion. That'll be a little bit of time there, too. And then these. That. Market, storage, market, market. Okay. Research. 5, 10, 15, 20. Next. Upgrades. Just do it this way instead. Save myself a few clicks. Market, 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 refinery, mage tower production capacity. Really? I guess I didn't have that one here yet. Uh, and then these. And the good, the reason I'm doing these is is because they will give us more, like at the bookstore, where, we are, where we're making purple coins and a few items, or whatever. Like That'll give us more capacity in those buildings, which will give us uh, more, uh, or sell more items at those buildings, including the ones that are used that are made by purple coins. Like for example, the bookstore sells all of these and now these are up to 375, then that's even better than the 350 or whatever it was at before. So that's that's what I wanted to, to accomplish here. Just claim all, no rewards, but there are rewards, they just don't tell you what they are. And then here in the jungle, uh, let's see. Oh, upgrade efficiency, we can do that one. 170 billion, all of those. This would be good. Market, 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 market. Refinery production, mage tower. Uh, consumption boost. All of those. Market, market. And you're still in the middle of all of those. Interesting. Okay. These are also in the middle of all of those. Uh, construction efficiency, sure. Ruby ore, general store market. Oh, I didn't want that one. Oh, well. Market, 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 market. This one, that one. And then these. This one? Sure. Markets. Okay. I don't know that I'll have anything that I can afford here with the purple coins especially, but sapphire ore, sure. Uh, markets. Enchanter production, sure. And then these I would like to do. Uh, we could do them because we could pause and let that build up pretty quickly here uh, like that. And then we could have them. And then we can do these real quick while we're here. Ooh, bookstores at still seven here. Oopsie. Red coins, eight. Market, storage. Oh, trading post storage market. And we need uh, 170 billion to get this upgrade efficiency nine done here. Okay, so uh, back to the research, unpause, go. And then those will run down to zero, just like that. And then you, I can, oh, you're still on shrines. 
We're still on shrines. Ouch. Okay. Um, let's pause those researches. Iron. Mana shard. Mana shard. Markets. Enchanter. Refinery. Mage tower. Consumption boosts. Ooh, arcane level 7. That'll be good. Uh, market, market, market. Alright, so then... Unpause the research and let those go again to pull that down to zero real fast. So it's going to be a while before these are done. Uh, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit of time before I can get the rest of these caught up in on that same research, but I'm going to do all of that offline. Uh, we're going to cut this episode a little bit short today compared to what I usually do, but um, this game is getting to the point where I think it's going to be either shorter episodes or more cutty episodes, but we'll see because a lot of these higher technologies take, um, take a long time to make, a lot of stuff to make, uh, all the above, and so to to kind of get toward the end of the game, which is Omni Stones. It's going to take a little bit of uh, offline effort, either in, um, you know, in pause periods of the video or in, um, in between episodes. So, uh, thank you all for joining me and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.